Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, episode number 21, The Return. This episode is directed by um, Kevin Tanchorian. And here we have the, the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Most of them, majority of them, out of the fake world. Except for Mac. That probably gets to my nerves. I'm the one. I'm the one getting in that because Matt chose to stay in the fake world. I know. I understand. He had. He had a daughter in the real world. She died. But in this world, she. Yes, he has a daughter now, and it, it makes him happy. But it's not real. And he rather stay in the fake world as ruled by Hydra than actually be in the real world. Fine. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> forget that part. Now, we have everybody else on the outside now. Trying to get themselves back together. You have Fitz, who's still who's dealing with the guilt of what he what he did in this fake world. You have um, May getting caught up by Phil or what happened when she was gone, cause she was she was gone the longest. And but Phil's feeling uncomfortable trying to tell her what happened because well he made out with the robot a version of her, and she, he didn't want to tell her that because he didn't, he he liked that version more than the than the, than the, than the real one, yeah. Mm. And then you have Gemma, who is not quite sure if Fitz is her Fitz again, because she wants to, she because she still loves him. But now he, but the thing is though, she's seeing with Ida, and she doesn't, she's not so sure if he's a good guy or a bad guy, or if he's still in love with Ida or her. She doesn't know for sure. She, she's not quite sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, and then you have, and then you have um Glenn Talbot's back. Played by um a a Adrian Pastor, he's back on the show because he doesn't know. He, he just like always, he has no clue what's going on. All he knows is show agents were with robots and they were attacking people and doing things. So now that now that the agents are back, he don't know who to trust or who to believe or what's going on. He was he just want to shoot everybody. He, he, had, he had no clue what's happening. Just like always. And other things happen in this episode too that I don't want to say right now because I, I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil it for you. If you haven't seen it, I want you to see it for yourself because it was it was a, it was a nice little surprise and I really enjoyed it a lot. Now, this this, this right here is gonna be a, a slight spoiler because I had to talk about this because I really did like it a whole lot and I really did enjoy it. Now you have Ida, who is who is now a real girl now. She's used them the um the um the, the the book. I forgot what it's called. The, the dark hole, that's right, the dark, she's the dark hole, it turns herself into a real girl. But she's not a, a normal girl. She has inhuman powers now. She's like a super, she's like a, a super inhuman. She can teleport, shoot out, she's super strong. I think she can shoot out energy blasts. I'm not sure what else she can do, but she can do a lot of things. I'm going to show like a brief of, of her powers. Now, since she's a real girl now, she knew for sure that Fitz is going to be in love with her. Oh, she knew it for sure. She or she, she, she practically already signed everybody up for the wedding. I mean, she was already prepared for them to be together as a couple. She got them a nice place. I mean, she 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 knew for sure they were gonna be together. Oh, she knew it. She knew it. She's telling all her friends. She's calling people up. Like, girl, we gonna get married. We gonna have babies. We gonna be every people are just. Are you sure? Yeah, we are, baby. We are, girl. We gonna have. I got myself a man, and we are happy. He loves me. I love him. Everything is gonna be so so special. And so they're locked up in a room together. Remember, I said this is gonna be a little spoiler. They're locked up in a room together, and Fitz is talking to her. And then that Fitz says, I can't love two women. And she knew for sure, well, he loves me. <laughs> High-fiving people and everything. Give her the throw her party. Give her, give her a speech. And then Fitz says, he still loves Gemma. And she flipped out. And now, <laughs> because see, now that she's human, she's feeling, she's feeling emotional for the first time. So everything is still raw and fresh to her. So, this is the first time, this is the first time falling in love, and it's the first time getting rejected. So now you got this super powered, super inhuman, and she got, she experienced love for the first time, and she fell hard, and then she got rejected for the first time, and she, it flipped her off in a whole different direction. She says, no! What she, first she was shocked by, it. she said, that's right, you love Jim, Gemma, what? I'm sorry. Did you, I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I think I heard wrong. 
I think you meant to say, um, Ida or something. You meant to say that instead. You Did you just say Gemma? Yeah, I'm, I love Gemma. No, 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 no. I moved the earth for you. I changed myself for you. And you talking about you want to be with Gemma? No. And she went full psycho. And it was scary and fun to watch at the same time. Like, oh, poor Fitz. Woo. <laughs> wow. He drove her crazy. Literally drove her crazy. Like, oh, that poor boy. That poor, poor boy. Oh, man. Wow. But overall, I did enjoy this episode a lot. It was a whole lot of fun. I mean, it was dark. It also had some humor in it, too. Especially the scene between um, 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 Phil and May. Watching him try to explain what happened when she was gone. It was interesting. Um, even with, with, with Talbot appears on, on the show. He, not, he, not, he doesn't know what's going on. And watching Phil trying to explain what's going on to him. He was just, what? That is just the craziest thing I've heard in my life. Which was always fun. Because this show man, but still has, it's, it can be dark. But it still has humor in it too, which keeps it a little bit, not, it doesn't push it too far over the edge. And it, it gives you, because like, a little bit of light with the darkness is always good. It always has a, a nice little balance in it, and I always do enjoy that. But this, this, this but the scene, that, like I said, that was my favorite. This is watching Ida's face when, when, when Gemma, when, I mean, when, um, when Fitz told her that he was in love with Gemma. Just seeing her face, how it just switched like that, just the shock of it, because she was so, so cocky that he was in love with her. Oh, she knew it for sure. But the, the thing is, though, she's not thinking. He's not in that world anymore. He not be, his brain not being manipulated by her programming anymore. He's free to choose who he wants to be with but on his own now. No influence from, the, from his um, digital father. No influence that programmed in that you, that you set there. None of that's gone. Yes, a lot of decisions he made was his own, but they were influenced by the, by the, uh, by the programming that you created. That's gone now. And he realizes that all the bad things that he did. And he realizes, and he also knows that he still loves Jim. Sorry, that's his love. You cannot replace that. There's not enough programming in the world. Now, here's something that may, got me maybe upset at the same time, too, because I, I'm still mad at Mac. See, Yo-Yo loves Mac. And, she's, and she, when she found out that Mac was still in that world because of, the, because of, his, of his daughter, she said, well, if Mac not coming to me, I'm going to go to her. So now this woman loves you so much that she's risking her life to be with you. And you chose to... That's why, that's why I'm so pissed off. That's why I'm, I'm so, so mad about this. Now, he chose to stay in this fake world instead of being in the real one. Yes, and I know. He doesn't know that who Yo-Yo, he doesn't know who Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo is. He doesn't remember who, that she existed. But the choosing to stay in a fake world that you're being controlled by, I just don't understand that. Everybody else left. But overall, despite that fact, I really enjoyed it a whole lot, and enjoyed, and, and, and also enjoyed the surprise ending at the end. If you, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna spoil that part. I want you to see that part for yourself. But if you did see it, you, you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't seen it, then check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy and have fun watching it too. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And if you got any thoughts or theories or anything like that, leave your comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So, give my channel the big old like, the thumbs up. Mm. Boom! And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Ah, uh, people.